in a world where the future is unseen unknown suddenly aaj se ek saal pehle agar kisi ko puchta ki where do you see yourself 5 years from today uh, suddenly we don't know what's going to happen after august you know we don't know how is it going to be hybrid is it going to be unidirectional is it going to change suddenly disruption and the new wave and we're going to ride this new wave as much as we're going to change our strategies and structures and patterns and imprints and beliefs what stays constant is the values and today we're going to speak a lot on these values we compromise a lot of things but we don't negotiate what should not be negotiated and when we recognize what need not be negotiated in our lives we bring in congruence we bring in al- alignment we bring in ecology otherwise what we bring in is conflicts conflicts between people in close relations and above all conflicts in health because there's a different internal communication that keeps happening so how do we bring that congruence in life how do we bring the align congruence is when i am congruent to myself alignment is when i'm aligned to the field ecology is when i bring the right health to the field ecology is systemic thinking ecology is to respect the differences and to understand the similarities that is the difference bateson says that brings the difference that's the difference that creates the difference it's these practices of the practice and when we recognize what's not negotiable in our life when we unless you recognize what's not negotiable you're going to negotiate things and that's going to bring the choking feeling that's going to bring contraction that's going to bring tightness that's going to take away time that's that's going to take away ease that's going to take away space and in a contracted space if you're going to fit more and more and more we're going to miss certain key aspects of life like i began by saying since we are having limited number of evenings mornings and breakfasts we better be sure where we're going to invest it it is an investment because as time goes it's going to decrease as time goes it's going to go less and less and less and less so we need to make it healthy great awesome so to recognize the values because values are those filters values are the markers with which we choose to see the world values are those lenses with which we choose to pick up our visions values are important so what makes things possible and not possible are the beliefs that we put in and beliefs come from our experiences our events and educations and our interactions with different people so we we need to achieve something we we want to get to some place and we need to achieve something in life this is what i want this is what i want in life this can be my dream this can be my goal this can be my desire this can be whatever and this can be a thing or this can be an experience it can be a thing i want a car this can be an experience i want to drive that car uh what decides how soon do i get it is how soon can you convert the thing into an experience we are not devoid of those experiences but the delay is in procurement the experience is already available but sometimes the ego wants the procurement the ownership and the sooner we shift from the position of the ego to the soul you'll realize that the journey of life is simple because the ego has to be in service of the soul and not the other way around yeah now how do i know how do i know what do i want is by knowing where am i now so where am i now in the typical neuro linguistics we would say this is the present state this is the now in google map they say i want to go to simsashui but where are you now i want to go to bandra but where are you now Uh, and and if you're not honest to the now but you're not going anywhere google refuses to take the next step you got to you got to know where are you now that now is so key 
that now is a recognition in many ways and the honesty has to be with the now and you got to stand at some point in time of life and be honest by saying that i fucked up some relations i've screwed up some commitments i've got pennies in my pocket and i'm behind on my promises how difficult is that sometimes we got to be truthful to look in the eyes of our own self and say some truth and now the question is this is reality what do i want from here now i want to build those relationships i want to build a better health i want to change certain things in my physical appearances i want to change certain things that's what i want how can you go to where you want if you're going to lie to where you are and that is why affirmations are sometimes misunderstood affirmations are not denying the truth in any ways if you do not accept the truth it's denial it's an escape it's a lie and a complete a full sentence of affirmation is i'm screwed in my life and i see the glory coming to me there's poop on the floor and i still begin to smell the future which is good i fucked up some relationships and i still look forward in living my life in glory holding your hands embracing you and kissing you good night tonight that's the full circle so unless you tell the truth the truth is not going to set you free any affirmation which is not congruent to yourself is a lie any affirmation which is not aligned with your space is a lie any affirmation which is not bringing you ease and space and it's not ecological it's a lie and you know what lies can do right it can contract you further it can choke you further it can tighten you further it can take away your flexibility it can take away your agility it can take away your charisma it can take away your aura it can take away diminished this field where you live 